Today let's see how we can create a new XRPL account using some app. I also assume that this is the first time you are using the app and depending upon the version you are using you will see somewhat similar screen on your app. So I'll just go to the home screen and click on this add account and obviously select create a new account option there. So this is a, a important screen. You will be getting eight rows of six digit numbers, which is your secret and you are not supposed to share it with anyone. If your secret keys are compromised, then you are most likely going to lose your funds. So make sure your secret keys remain secret. Also make sure to write down your secret numbers on a piece of paper and store it in a safe place just in case you lose your phone or your device gets corrupt or something bad happens. So this is the screen on your phone where you can see your secret numbers. So by clicking on next or previous you can see the next six digit numbers or previous six digit numbers. Totally you have eight rows of six digit numbers each. In the next screen, once you write down all these things, you need to confirm your secret. This is the way some checks if you have written down your secret numbers because that step is very crucial. So make sure to navigate with these arrow marks and use this plus or minus symbol to increment or decrement the numbers. Okay, so once you are done, just click next. So if you have entered the proper secret key, then you will be able to move to the next screen wherein it will show the public key associated with your secret key. So since this is public address, you can share it with your friends on uh, or on a website, etc. to receive funds. And this is a very important screen. I can't stress this enough. People, some people still think some charges 20 XRP per account, which is not true. This 20 XRP is wallet reserve and, and it is a, a requirement of XRP ledger and not sum. Sum has nothing to do with it. So let's read it once. Account activation is a requirement of XRP ledger. To activate, you will have to make a first deposit of at least 20 XRP. Okay. The first 20 XRP deposited into your account cannot be spent but will be reserved to keep your account active and pay for on ledger fees. So it will be used for your on ledger fees. If you understand this, then only click on this next button or else please read and understand this before moving any further. So if you understand this, just move further and click on this next button and select your extra security levels. I'll give this account a name called demo. You can give it any other name like spendable, savings, etc. So I will give it as demo and click next. And your account is now set up, but it's not active because it's a new account. To activate it, you will have to send 20 XRP, at least 20 XRP to activate this account. So you can click this and copy the address. I have already copied it. I'll just paste it here. It doesn't require any destination tag since it is not an exchange account. So if you try to send any amount less than 20 XRP, it won't accept because the destination address is not at active. To activate it, you will at least have to send 20 XRP. In this case, I'm sending 21 XRP. So 20 XRP will be account reserve and one XRP will be spendable balance. So let's see that. And as you can see, the balance is, the spendable balance is shown as one. So click on this explain link. So your account balance is actually 21, but your spendable balance is one because uh, XRP ledger uses 20 XRP to activate your account and and that 20 XRP will be considered as valid reserve, which will be used for your on ledger uh, fees. You can get most of your valid reserve by deleting your account from XRP ledger, which is not equal to deleting your account from some wallet. They are two different things. 
some people might go to settings and accounts and click on the account and remove their account from some and expect to get back account reserve which is which is not how it works you need to delete your account from xrp ledger and i'll show you how to do that in my next video so stay subscribed and watch our next video thank you